So back to Adam. Yes. Okay, so you had him on, and you guys had a very, I mean, you document almost your whole life online. Yeah. You're always very open and honest. And this was a particularly raw and honest interview. And in that interview, you guys did talk about, like, you know, your concerns with him cheating, I guess, in the past and how you guys, like, almost split up. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, there was just a lot of feedback in the comments of people being like, you're too good for Adam. Like, you guys should, you know, you, sh- you can do better. Like, how did that make you feel? Or do you even read the comments at all? I do read the comments. Um, I do sometimes wonder about taking that whole podcast down because I don't <laughs> think that it paints our relationship in a good way. I don't think Adam answered the way that he should have. And he probably would agree with me now since we've talked about it. After the fact. Um, But that was the first time that we'd ever talked about Adam cheating or anything like that, which now we've talked about it here and there a little bit. But, you know, that was like earlier in our relationship, I would say within the first year or two. And then the conversation we had was like five or six years into our relationship. So Mm -hmm. I feel like maybe he felt a little bit attacked by the conversation. Uh, I don't think he was really expecting it. And yeah, I, I did. I, I wasn't really happy with how he replied to me. Um, and then the comments also were sort of on my side. And yeah, it was, it was a little tough for me when that yeah. happened. Yeah. 